All right, dogs, back in the lab. We had a practice session yesterday at a simulator, which is just some of the best work you can do when you have the proper data behind what you're doing in the golf swing. So if you, you I don't know if you're pro or anti simulator, I know it can be kind of a uh, a mind game for some people when they're in the sim, at least some of my buddies, but uh, highly recommend going in there and just not playing around, but just doing the range setting and looking at swing path numbers and looking at launch numbers, looking at angle of attack numbers, looking at your club face angle at impact and and just starting and having fun with manipulating those just so you can get some context about what a eight degree swing outside feels like versus an eight degree uh, swing path uh, outside to in feels like, you know, so that could cause the slice. So uh, really, really a big proponent of doing the sims and looking at the data. But today we're doing a drill that I'm sure everyone's seen. And I'm really going to start internalizing this drill. You put the alignment rod down the club and it can really help you understand where the, the butt of the club is pointing in the backswing. So this is kind of down the, the ball line, which is better as opposed to really laid off or really steep. So, and then I like it post impact because even if you get it and you don't rotate, you'll slap your side. So I figure why not throw a little bit of physical pain into this game uh, to couple it with the psychological pain that it puts on me. So three swings and it's all about hips and rotation is kind of my main focus here. I think my center, my striking issues and my low point control really has to do with my lack of rotation these days. We'll go one for two. Good enough. You know, that would have been, if that was a 35, 40 yard pitch shot or chip shot. That could have been on the green safely. Two for three. And that's the thing about all these drills that we all watch or I watch is I'll watch them, I'll try them, I'll ditch it after five minutes. But I think to really internalize the, the purpose of any given drill, you got to really maybe invest in it for more than five minutes. So. I've been doing this for 10, 15 minutes before we started the video. And I think I'm just going to dedicate all my practice today to this drill. Getting It really promotes getting your hand in front of the ball. And then so you don't whip yourself rotation. And these are just sawed off maybe 30 yard chip shots. So once I get my, my, my launch monitor, we'll have better idea of, of what those balls are doing, but just contact was good and it wasn't behind the ball. I rotated enough. So we're going to keep working at it. So an interesting thing I noticed with my playing partner yesterday was he played 15 holes of great golf, good golf, uh, in our match on the simulator and had one blow up hole. And at the end of the round, you know, that's what the main thing he was speaking about, talking about. So I think it's, it's just funny how 
we can do so many good things during a golf round and it's correct. It's, you know, really encouraging, but it's, we tend to just focus on the one hole or the one swing or the one putt that we didn't like as if we expect perfection, you know, when we are golfing. So that's just something I'm going to be more conscientious of is taking it easier on myself if cuz for the most part if you're playing around to golf you know i probably the majority of your golf shots are solid and then maybe you have a hole or two or three where it didn't go the way you wanted it to and that's where you, what you obsess over so it, it's no way to live and we need to start giving ourselves more credit for the majority of holes that we put together that are decent instead of uh fixating and obsessing over just um the bad holes even though those you know those moments those swings those holes are are good learning opportunities but it's just such a battle psychologically and mentally with this game that we have to encourage ourselves you know equally as much as discourage ourselves so